It's the Wednesday and it's a training day. And remember, when you see me at the gym training, it's gonna be very intense and sometimes daunting. You should be training exactly the same. Whether you're a beginner, intermediate, advanced, male or female, this is exactly how I train my clients. And you should be training the same. It, the only thing that changes is that the weight obviously will be lighter for you. doing shoulders it's always good to warm up with a few different movements uh, just to make sure that every aspect of the shoulder is ready to go I'm doing some standing shoulder presses front and side raises with rotations just with a light weight just to get things loosened up I'm going to carry that warm up over to our first exercise which is seated side raises we'll be doing two light warm-up sets and then going straight into our triple drop sets supersetted with front raises. We'll be doing three sets in total. For our triple drop sets, I'm gonna lay out three different weights on the floor so I can make the transition quickly as possible. I like to do this as well so people don't take the weight. For our front raises today, we'll be doing plate raises with a twist at the top. So it's just like um, steering a steering wheel, I just find this gives me a really, really good burn. We'll be doing another superset with seated military press and rear raises next. I'm going to do a couple of quick warm-up sets with both lifts first just to make sure that the elbows are warmed up as well and then we're going to go right into our double drop sets of 8 reps supersetted with rear raises for 12 reps. So uh, the second superset that we just did now was a uh, military press with the bar, supersetted with rear raises with the dumbbells. Uh, you know, fatigue's really starting to set in. I, I'm so much weaker now, on the, especially on the shoulder press. I don't know, maybe it's because I did it so far into the, into the workout and I did a lot of drop sets beforehand, but I'm so much weaker. Normally I do like two plates on each, each side and then when I do a drop set, I could normally do 20 reps with one plate each side and I think I only just managed 10 so like, you know I'm half the strength there but I've got half the endurance but um, just goes to show that I'm starting to use my body fat now as energy and body fat is a really bad source of energy as opposed to the you know the fats and carbohydrates that you actually uh, take in so that's a good thing you know it's not too good for your ego knowing that you know your strength is going down but it's a good thing knowing that you're really using your fat as energy now For shrugs, we're gonna do three sets of around 20 repetitions. Remember to lean forward slightly to activate the entire trap, which will give you the best development of this muscle group. Also, another technique that I like to use is just bend my arms slightly at the top just to further increase that range of movement. This helps target the back of the traps by being able to hold the weight up a little bit longer and really pinch during that isometric hold. Remember to utilize your lifting straps when you get to a weight that you feel is hard to hold on to because your grip is failing before your muscles. 
Hand strength is nice, but we're transforming our bodies here and we need to pull all the burden onto the muscles. For our last exercise, we're gonna hit our calves with seated calf raises. We're gonna be doing triple drop sets here. This exercise really, really does burn and you'll find that the, that the pain just really wants you to give up. You've just gotta go through that pain. The straight foot position will hit both the inner and the outer head of the calf, but you can focus on one more than the other by turning your toes inwards or outwards on the platform. After each set, I like to do a set of standing calf raises with just my body weight with very fast reps. Uh, it's more of a bouncing movement, and I got this from a guy called Flex Lewis who has amazing calf development, and this is an exercise that I incorporated to bring that muscle group up. Okay, so we just finished our shoulder and calf workout. Really intense. Um, the fatigue is really starting to set in now. I'm feeling very weak on a lot of exercises now, which is normal. Um, that means if you feel a little bit weaker in the gym as you progress throughout this transformation, it's a good sign. Not a good sign for your ego, but it's a good sign for your progression because it means you're really utilizing your fat more as energy. Uh, body fat really isn't a very good energy source at all. It could be um, a source that's been stored there for years and years, you know. So it isn't a fresh energy source. However, you've got to utilize it if you want to transform. So just you just got to pound through it. You know, you, you might get a little bit down because, you know, you're, you're not meeting your strength increases as you have done in the past. However, you can really increase your intensity through the supersets and through the drop sets. I'm absolutely cooked. I know I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Um, so I'm gonna have my shake now, do my cardio, grab another meal in tonight, and uh, do the same again tomorrow. You think you're working your super, super... <laughs> Ah, funny. You think working your supraspinatus muscle is hard? Watch me try to say it. 